Hey guys, it's Dr. J here. HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, is used to create the structure and the content of web pages. In this video, we will cover the basics of HTML, and we will also learn how to create a simple web page. We'll explore the essential HTML tags, and these will include headings and paragraphs. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of HTML and be able to create your own web page from scratch. So let's dive into it and get started. Tags are the building blocks of HTML. And they are used to define the structure and content of web pages. HTML tags are enclosed in angle brackets and typically come in pairs. So this is an example of an opening tag, which is a heading one tag. And this is an example of a closing heading, heading one tag. The opening tag indicates the beginning of a specified element, while the closing tag indicates the end. In this case, we have the opening of a paragraph tag and then the closing of uh, the paragraph tag. And you'll notice the slash operator, which is used to close the tag. HTML tags can also have attributes, which provide additional information about the element, uh, such as the color, the size, or the alignment. But we'll talk about that in the next video in greater detail. For now, let's get into um, W3 Schools, which is a resource that we're going to use, uh, w3schools.com. And if you want to learn more detail about HTML, you can go to Tutorials, Learn HTML. And here you will find a lot more information in terms of uh, creating web pages and using many different types of tags that we may not necessarily cover in these videos. Uh, as I scroll through it, uh, there are examples that are given and um, there are explanations also given for each of these different examples together with a quiz where you can test yourself. Um, HTML, as we indicated, it's a hypertext markup language. Uh, it's used for developing web pages, by the way. HTML is not case sensitive. So whether you type in capital letters or in small letters, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, and each of these different tags are explained in detail. You can cover those uh, on your own. Uh, I want to focus on um, these tags here in particular. As I indicated, uh, this is a heading one tag. There are six different types of headings you get. So you can get a heading one going all the way up to heading six. And then this is a paragraph. Every time you are creating a paragraph, you can use that tag. And then we have a break. A break just simply breaks one paragraph into the second paragraph. Uh, there's no close tag for the break. It's just an open tag that we use for the, for the break. Uh, if I go to my headings, as I indicated, there are six different types of headings. Uh, that we can use, uh, you will be able to experiment with these in greater details. And as you can see, there's lots that you can uh, look through to learn HTML in greater detail. I'm going to now jump into Code Pen, which I already have open. In the previous video, I explained the environment. Uh, if you missed that video, you can uh, learn more about how the code pen environment works. I want to start developing my first application. So let's type some HTML. So the first line 
that I am going to use is um, an H1 tag. As you can see, here's my H1 tag. Welcome to my first web page. And I close the tag. And in real time, uh, you will notice whatever HTML code I'm typing here, that's going to appear in real time at the bottom. And uh, I could also change my layout, and I think I'm going to do that. So for now, I'm going to make use of this layout. So this was my first line of HTML text. Let's type a second line of text. Uh, now I've created a heading two, and my heading two uh, tag, that's the open for my heading two, and that's the closing for my heading two. So this is my first section. Um, and now I want to type some information in the section. So let's go ahead and let's type in some information here. So this is now a paragraph. Uh, I'll just make this window a little smaller. Uh, you will notice the start paragraph a tag followed by the closing tag. And you will notice that I've typed my paragraph. And when it appears, uh, it does not break over different lines. They all appear on the same line. If you want something to break, then you use the break tag like that. And once you use the break tag, then you will see that those two lines now uh, appear one below the other. So I'm going to remove the break tag for now, and I'm going to keep everything on one line. And um, so that is uh, my paragraph that I have put in. Um, the last thing that I want to add to this is um, I want to add another paragraph. So I'm going to add another paragraph tag here. And this is just uh, this particular piece here allows me to get that copyright symbol. Uh, so it's 2023, my first web page, all rights reserved. So this is how you can go about creating a very simple web page. Um, we are using the code pen as our tool. And we are making use of tags, uh, which is what HTML is structured, uh, is built upon. Everything is made up of tags. So remember, whether I'm using CodePen or whether I'm using Notepad, uh, I'm still going to use the same tags. Leaving these blank lines do not make any uh, difference to our output. I can remove all the blank lines uh, and you will notice that the output is not changed. Uh, I simply left the blank lines in there. So you could see the different tags that I'm making use of. In the next video, uh, I will then show you a bit more HTML that we can add to this first project. And we'll also add some styles. So we'll then start working with the CSS section in CogPen. Until the next video, take care. Bye.